What's up guys, today I'm going to be running this Expo deck, just because I used to run Expo, and I have not what am I saying? I haven't actually uh, been able to try it with the uh, Evolution Knight and Evolution Tesla yet. I feel like Evolution Archer would be good too, but the Knight being able to just tank everything, and then the Tesla being able to pop up each time something new spawns in, would definitely be OP. Otherwise, like, the Tesla, in my opinion, I haven't honestly used it much, the Evolution Tesla, just because it seems kind of, like... They could just earthquake it or anything or they could just wait it out but in this situation it's like they have to do something so it's definitely going to be a good deck um and i played one match before this with this deck and honestly i liked it i versed a uh, pekka I, th I don't know if it was a bridge band but it was this guy was playing pekka and i don't know if he just wasn't playing that well or something or just like maybe it's just the deck is just good against like pekka decks type of thing i feel like it would be kind of worse though because Although it does have some baitable stuff, it's not like, um, like heavy damage. It's all like, if he has like a, like a lightning or something, then he could definitely take out the Tesla or like, also just like if the Pekka just walks up to the crossbow and just uh, uh, like absolutely obliterates it, like, that's like a different story. But as of right now, we're doing pretty good. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to place another text bow. Expo, not text bow. And, um, yeah, we're gonna get a lock on. I'm gonna try to place a knight here if he places anything. I'm just gonna hold this position. If my reaction time is good enough. No, he's brushing the other side. He knows he lost that tower. Alright, that's chill. I'm gonna fireball this. Just get some value just out of the... Uh, oh, I should have waited for that night witch, honestly. I got too greedy too fast. He's gonna be rushing the right side the whole time. Um... Oh, our expo. I didn't even realize our expo got some lock on. That is definitely good for us. And this is even better for us. The Tesla evolution just came in. That's just going to make everything so much easier to take out right here. Although, this is what I'm saying, though. The Tesla, like, if it has, like, to stay locked on, it just not go do good. And now my tower is gone, yeah. Okay, this guy played it pretty smart. He knew his tower is gone, so he rushed full, full side on the other tower. I'm going to place some archers here because... Okay, I'm going to have to use my arrows, too. <laughs> That wasn't a good play, but it's it's all right. Damn, this guy's really going full rush here. He wants like anything, if you, anything and everything, bro. Holy. Yeah, so this might be the end of me here, honestly. But it's all right. If I get no, yeah, there's no way I'm coming back with this stuff, honestly. Just because it's crossbow, like you could just play something on my side. There's no way I'm coming back. So. I don't know, we lost this one, but it's alright. Unless... Something impossible happens. That would be crazy if we were able to get this, but... Yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> There's no way. I think they gotta make, like, the evolutionized Tesla, like, something a little, like, different. Like, they gotta make it, like, have, like, seconds. Well... I guess not actually. It, it cuz like the stun is overpowered and the damage. Excuse me. The damage that it does is like so overpowered. I feel like that I was going to say they should make it so it's like every 3 seconds, every 4 seconds it does that ring that comes out of it. But the fact that it does so much damage, it's like obvious why they don't do that honestly cuz it's so overpowered. This guy's going to be running mortar deck. I honestly wanted to try a mortar deck. I forgot to say that. I want to try like evolution mortar cuz uh I did the uh, Duchess draft for like the uh, crown points, and it honestly like is a pretty good like evolution. Like the fact that it just continuously spawns like goblins too, it can be used as a defense. It's just like really good. All right, I'm gonna arrow this firecracker here. I got some value off that. If the dagger Duchess could take both out, that'd be crazy. All right, it got so okay. We're chilling. I'm happy with the value we got there. Okay, he's gonna place that. I don't know if he has, like, a Lexer to be cycling, or he's just, like, panicking. I feel like he's panicking, because there's no way he would just place that and just think, like, it's gonna be alright. Like, he definitely has to be a somewhat low Lexer, or at least the Lexer I'm at now, because I'm pretty sure Mortar costs 4 and Tesla costs 4, so. We're probably both at 6 or 7, I would imagine. Because I feel like he definitely would have protected that if he, like, meant. Or, like, if he wasn't just, like, spamming. Um, alright, I'm just gonna go with Knight here. He might have given up. I'm just gonna assume he gave up, so... 
Yeah, I'm assuming we gave up. If anything happens uh, in between, I'll definitely cut back, but I think I'll just cut to the end of this uh, this victory. All right, there we go. We got our three crown, and uh, we're going to move on to the next match here. I definitely do want to try the mortar deck. If anything, I could honestly, like, probably make the same exact deck that I'm using instead of more, or instead of test, or I cannot speak, bro. <laughs> instead of expo, I use mortar, and um, I feel like that deck is definitely going to be op just because like even though mortar like may not do as much damage the evolution itself makes up for it and mortar is like definitely more of a uh, defense type of building too like compared to expo i mean expo does good like uh long range but mortar this fact that it has that splash damage and can like affect like multiple units at once definitely makes it a little bit more of a viable uh tower troop or, like uh building like for like your side but because Mortar, like, I never used that one either that much. Like, last video, I did a uh, Golem deck, and that was honestly really fun. But I don't use Golem that much, so I feel like I wouldn't play as well with it, like, compared to other people who know how to play, like, Golem and stuff. But, mm. All right, he went Golem that side. I'm going to go Expo. If he doesn't place anything, if I could just keep this lock on here... He's definitely gonna rush everything this side now without a doubt he's yeah he's he's not gonna defend because he knows he wants to get that three crown if he does this okay so we got the battle healer in the back i'm just gonna go knight battle or er, knight and archer take out the battle healer because that's definitely gonna help you yeah, now he realized he's like oh shit <laughs> maybe i'm not gonna win that three crown and even like if he comes back all right like i could just do this like that's definitely gonna help and the golem switched right there. Like, he's not going to be able to do much now. I'm just going to play more defense because there's no point for me to get another thing and risk my expo. Just risk, like, six elixir like that, just getting taken out. So I'm just going to play more defense. I'm going to play it. Yeah, I'm going to play it on, on the left side just so it's nothing in the middle. He can't, like, destroy it from a thing and get more value on the tower right here. So he's going to play that. I'm just going to fireball it just because... It's the same value, like, he's going to get one elixir pump, then it's going to destroy before he gets another pump in, I'm pretty sure. So, it's just, he he wasted six elixir, he gained two back. It's basically just, like, a profitable trade. Unless he gets, oh, maybe he gets one extra elixir. Damn, I didn't know that. Okay, okay. Maybe I should not have placed my uh, <laughs> expo so early, like I did back then. but Because I feel like it's kind of messing up. It's going to, like, fuck with me now. All right, so he's doing this. I'm going to do this. That took out a lot of stuff right there. I'm going to try to draw. Yes! This worked out perfectly. I drew the battle healer back. He's panicking so hard right now. He has nothing to do. And my knight and archers are still alive. This is perfect. Yeah, we won this matchup without a doubt. Yeah, I'm just going to cut to the... Well, I don't need to cut to the end, honestly. There's only 10 seconds. This guy knows he lost. He's just playing E pump. He's just trolling. At least he's not like a, a bad supporter about it. I mean, I feel like so many people just like immediately leave or just like turn off their phone because they just like stop placing stuff. But I feel like some people just like fool around after. I feel like uh, this makes the game more fun. It just shows like no harm feelings, even though it's like not like you're face to face with the person. It's like, I don't know. It's just nice. All right. I got to stop getting back into the old mindset that i had of like crossbow immediately and then um expo i stop i keep saying crossbow expo immediately and tesla because i gotta remember like people have evolutions now and i gotta build up my evolutions too that's like what this point of the video is here okay i think we're good on defense here yeah okay that was a decent defense we still have our tesla and expo so we're chilling I just realized this guy's not using Dagger Duchess or Cannoneer. I don't know why. In my opinion, Princess is just, like, not... I feel like there's better options. Obviously, that it has, like, its own good stuff because of, um like, Swarm Troops. But I feel like Dagger Duchess is definitely one of the, like, best, at, like, additions they could have added. I also, like... I like how they started adding, um Tower Troops because when I, like, played, like, so long ago, they never had that, and it... It's just so different, like, of, like, a game style, like, how you could change your tower troop. And it just really just changed up the whole gameplay and what kind of decks people use. And it just makes the game a lot more fun, I feel like, and more strategized. 
Because, like, you could utilize your towers a lot more. Like, for Cannoneer, I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of people do. They use, like, Tornado, Fisherman, because they want to utilize the other tower. Just because it shoots slow. Damn, this guy's getting mad, too. Juan John Juan. That's a fire name, though. I honestly... I mess with it, bro. Boomer Sumer is the clan. Oh, right, yeah. Is I'm just going to, like, wait for this guy and see what he plays. Um, Honestly, I might... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be toxic here. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is already working out for me. This deck has to be so annoying for some people, and I feel bad, honestly, because I'm doing this to people, but I really wanted to try it out. I definitely gotta try this type of, or like a variation of this deck with Mortar, because I definitely feel like a, it would be like really good. Dude, I, and I already have another, like, watch this guy, like, he's gonna take out the crossbow. And then another one's just going to spawn in. Like, watch. And I feel like he's going to do that angry emote once I put it in. Like, look at this. Another crossbow, another Tesla. Nah. He's not going to do the angry emote, but I bet he's fuming right now. Yeah, everything's taken out. Like, you... C it's so hard to do stuff against this um, deck. Like, it's honestly incredibly hard. Unless you, like, mess up placement or you just do, like, um, I don't know. Or, they could have counter decks, obviously. But I feel like the Evolution Tesla, if you get that out and then have the Evolution Knight in front of it, it's just, like, game over. Because the amount of, like, tank ability it has, if they don't have, like, um, Earthquake or just some, like, spell, then it's just so overpowered. And it's kind of, like, the same with um the Mortar decks, too. Because I like first mortar decks. Or like if you have like a golem or e-drive, those like could do well against mortar decks as well. Just because um it baits it and it like targets the uh mortar itself instead of having like to deal with like the knight or anything in front like I'm uh, doing with this expo deck. But yeah, I definitely gotta try the mortar decks out. I think this guy has I I forget if I saw the evolution on the bomber, but if he knows how to play evolution bomber well, I mean good for him, but it's kinda bad for me. No, 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 I'm not going to place in front of the knight. I'm going to expo left side. Just because I got to, like, remind myself here. I'm playing for the evolution. Um, I really just got to, like, try to aim just to, like, get the evolution in. All right, so that was a perfect bait on both sides. I'm really glad that went out that way. Me and him have done no tower damage to each other, so we're both chilling. We're both, like, homies right now. Okay, maybe we're not homies. Maybe I underestimated him. Alright, so we got Archer on left side, Archer right side. He's, he has to defend that, so I'm honestly going to crossbow. Even though I'll have no Elixir, I have my Archer just in case. I get a lock-on. I am super chill with that lock-on. Maybe I'm not as chill with that lock-on. <laughs> okay. I think we can still defend this pretty easily. Okay, maybe not easily. But, yeah. Uh, maybe I should have placed Bargder. I should have placed Barb. He's going to get some good-ass damage off on me now. Alright, he got like 800 damage. Like 1,000, 800 to 1,000 damage around there. Um, Once I get Evo Tesla, I think we should be chilling. Unless this guy just absolutely obliterates me with something that just pops out of nowhere. I really hope that doesn't happen though. I'm going to place Knight. Um, I would place Tesla. I should have placed Tesla, I'm thinking. Just because I wasted the evolution Knight. But it's alright. This guy's going to place Bomber. I'm just going to arrow just for cycle and just for value, honestly. I'm going to Fireball, too, just to see if I can get any hits off. That would be wonderful if I could. I got two hits. I will definitely take those two hits. And the fact... Oh, I just realized, it, even if he places it on the right side over here, the Battle Ram still gets drawn. Or maybe he has Evil Battle Ram. Why am I not thinking that? Alright, so I got Tesla in a good spot for crossbow. I'm just going to crossbow. He's going to rush other side. Well played by him. That was actually a smart move. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Please, yes. Okay, this is perfect. This is a really good moment for me. And the Tesla takes out the magic archer. Wow. If I could just get arrows and fireball in, I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm good. Let's go. And he thought, dude, I honestly forgot the ghost did that. Like, the ghost, 
just went right past my Tesla. He probably could have won, like, if I didn't let that, or if I didn't have, like, arrows and fireball, I just let that go. But, I don't know, this deck is definitely fire. Once again, this is the deck. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this was a pretty fun video to make. Um, next time I probably will do the mortar deck. I definitely want to do more decks surrounding the evolutions just because they're honestly really fun to play with. And, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day, you guys. Oh.